In 2014, we headed out to AH Cap Reserve West Preston, the home of the Darabin Falcons, for the second last round of the Victorian Women's Football League Premier Division season, a game of the Falcons versus the Melbourne Uni Muggers. First versus third. Now, we should point out, at this point, the Falcons hadn't been beaten since the 2012 Grand Final when they lost in an upset to Diamond Creek. They'd been the dominant side of the VWFL. And the first half turned on a bit of a surprise. It was a seven-goal lead to the uh, Falcons and then they were outscored by the Muggers who pulled it back to within a couple of goals at half time. However, the Falcons put the foot down in the second half and went on to win by the tune of 100 points. The player of the day for that match was Elise O'Day. Elise, thanks for joining us and uh, uh, a fair old tough day for you today. You were unlucky yourself personally not to get on the scoreboard but you racked up plenty of possessions. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was just a great team effort and I really can't take too much of the credit because it's just a fantastic side to be a part of and, yeah, we really are just a good quality team and everyone plays their role. It's, yeah. Uh, a few changes today that we noticed in the side as well. Pierce dropping back and uh, Shannon Egan being moved into the ruck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shannon's definitely playing more and more in the ruck. She's, um, yeah, learning a lot from Asta, who's a real champion in the ruck and... Yeah, she's got a good teacher in front of her, I think. Yeah. Uh, was Steph Simpson going in to sell real estate because she was given that much land today? <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't see her down there or something, but you really got to man her up. She's electrifying when she's left to that much space. Yeah, and, and, what, kill you. and we're impressed as well by uh, Karen Paxman, not only because of her size, that she's a solid hit whenever she tries to take yeah. on anyone. Three goals from her today, and she was dangerous moving from the wing up forward. Isn't she? I um, Paxi's one of those people that I don't understand how well they can read the ball. They, she reads it better than anyone I've ever seen play football. It's just on a string for her every game. Uh, is it becoming almost like a circus act when people like Katie Brennan can take a mark, <laughs> line up from 55 metres out, look yeah. at the goals going, yeah, I reckon, I reckon I'm a shot from here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a fantastic kick for goal, and those hands are, it's like a vice. Whenever mm. whenever she goes up to market, it's just, yeah, it's rare you see her drop it. And, and how did you <coughs> find coming back from the bye as well? There's been a few interruptions through the year, obviously, when there was uh, a few um, state selection games uh, with the Country Metro game, obviously the exhibition game and a few buys. How have you found trying to adjust of, okay, a couple of weeks on, we're on for match, yep. then we're off again, now we're back on for match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's just that's just part of the footy season. You get used to that every yeah. every each year and uh, the bye always comes at a good time it's good to rest your legs but we often do a training session on the bye anyway so uh, yeah we we don't ever get a rest Mm. weekend we just always keep pushing through but uh, we manage we manage well and manage our bodies well and we've got um, some fantastic support staff that look after us and yeah